Hey Tribe, welcome back to Tribe Youth Online. We're so excited to have you back. Mm -hmm. And I have a question, and it's directed to you as Ooh. well as to Kayla right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that question is, if you could learn any language fluently, what would it be? Well, my answer is Italian because I already know some Italian. Okay. And I like it, it's pretty. It's a pretty <laughs> language. <laughs> Do you have an answer? Um, I feel like, yeah like French or something would be really cool mm. but also like just something so random like if I learnt like pig Latin or something <laughs> just to whip it out at parties <gasps> I don't know <laughs> right anyways <laughs> Okay, so now on to announcements we got a couple today uh, so you know how we've been doing a challenge every Monday they've been pretty fun yeah, so basically that challenge isn't on Mondays anymore. We're going to announce it on the Friday night. You guys will have until Wednesday midnight to submit your entry. And then on Friday, your video might be included in the, in the youth video. So, yeah. So you might be wondering, what are we going to be doing on Mondays? So we're introducing Tribe's Top Fives. Ooh. So initially it's going to be us youth leaders, but then we'll invite you guys into it. Um, we are going to be posting our top fives of a variety of topics, mm -hmm. whether it's top five worship songs, top five One Direction members, top five youth leaders. Just kidding. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. They'll be coming out soon. Hey Tribe Youth, I'm Jacob. And I'm Mark. And today we're going to run you through this week's challenge. It's the peg challenge. So what you've got to do is you've got to get as much pegs as you can and record yourself putting pegs onto your face. And then once you got, well, you've got to make it as funny as possible. And once um, you got the recording, you send it through to the Tribe Youth Instagram. And then, yeah. Uh, good luck, guys. Have fun with it. Speaking of challenges, here's the highlight reel of last week's Scare Cam Challenge. Enjoy, guys. You're probably wondering what's going on tonight. Uh, so we're starting off with a game from Connor and Dylan. Then we've got some worship. And then we're going to hear a word from Peter. Let's do it. Hey, welcome back to another session of fun games with Dylan and Connor. Yeah, all right. Let's get keen for some crazy fun games. If you guys have any suggestions, though, please make sure you put them in the comments below and we will hope hopefully read them and get to those later. Alrighty, let's jump into it. <laughs> Every dang week. Need to work out that telephone. Yeah, I really need to work on my jumps. Whoa, what do we got going on in here? Whoa, it looks like lots of crazy food. I think we're gonna play a game. A game? What might that game be? Well, this week we're gonna do a game called Movie Quotes trivia <laughs> with gross food. <laughs> Basically, the way it works is I'll read out a movie quote to Connor. If he gets it wrong or guesses the wrong movie, I get to choose what item of food he has to eat and the other way around as well. And then I'll have a go and I'll read to Dylan and the same will happen. But the thing is, we can read these quotes however we like. They don't have to sound like they do in the movie. It just has to be the same words. So that makes it even more challenging. Mm. 
I am not looking forward to this. It <laughs> <That> is disgusting. <laughs> There's lots of gross things here. Cool. Well, actually, before we start, what are you least looking forward to out of all this? It's got to be the sardines. Yeah. The sardines. They're yeah. Generous. I'm going to say the sardines as well. Yeah, they look like they're falling apart in the can. <laughs> not very nice. It's not going to taste good. Uh, I'll read to you first. No, I think we should scissors paper. <laughs> <laughs> scissors paper. Oh, rock. I'm on first. <laughs> We'll start off, start off with a fairly easy one. Oh, good, good, good. May the odds be ever in your favour. Uh, the Hunger Games. Yeah, easy one. Uh, hopefully this one's... You, I reckon you'll get this. Greater good, I'm your wife. <laughs> I'm the greatest good you're ever gonna get. I know this one. Oh, it's from The Incredibles. Yes, yeah, that's that's The Incredibles. A classic. Classic. <laughs> Alrighty. Did we just become best friends? Oh, Step Brothers. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful movie. <laughs> awesome. I knew you'd get that one soon. <laughs> I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Oh, no, I know this one. You do know it. Oh, no. It's like on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what it is. Oh. I feel bad for not knowing this, too. You're going to have to tap out. Fast and Furious. No! <laughs> oh, of course it was. Yeah. Um, I feel really dumb now. <laughs> Do you like dates? I don't like dates. Oh, good. Here's some. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Dylan. <laughs> Do I have to get the whole thing? Or yeah, one bite? big bite. Yeah. Big bite. No, I like the whole thing in one big bite. <laughs> Can I just take a chop? No, it, I'm pretty sure the rules say... <laughs> you gotta eat it. <laughs> I don't want to. For a mushroom. Really good for you though. My nan has them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> They're gross. I hate dates. <laughs> no, not okay. I'm gonna try reading this one a bit differently. Ooh. Might throw you off a bit. Ooh, it probably will. It's a short quote. It's pretty straightforward. My. Precious. Is that it? Yep, that's all. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, that was it. That's an easy one. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. That's, that's a classic from the Avengers. That is from the Avengers. You might need some harder ones. One of, one of my favourite <laughs> movies, the Avengers. Are we going to for some harder ones? I reckon. Alright. I don't know if you'll know this one. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. <laughs> I got nothing. I've <laughs> never heard that in my life. <laughs> There's a quote from The Notebook. The Notebook, come <laughs> on. I'm sure you would have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What am I eating? Hmm. I think, I think you can try it. the pepper. Like one of these, these lovely green peppers. What's the rule with this one, you reckon? Just, just a, take just a bite. Just take a chomp out of a it. A chomp. Oh. At least I'll. Yeah. Dude, this is gonna start this is a habanero chili. I reckon. Okay. <laughs> Send it. I have to wait and see. I'm concerned. I'm in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> That's a great one. I feel like I know, but I don't like know what the movie is. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've heard the quote before. It's definitely not. I, I don't know. You got nothing? Uh, yeah, I, don't, I can't work it out. The Anchorman. Oh. So good. Oh, Anchorman's so weird. <laughs> I just have to remember all the stuff from that. Uh, I'm gonna get you to uh, have one of those chips. The spicy the, chips. The really spicy, the spicy Doritos. Chips. Get one that's got a bunch of Oh yeah, sauce. flavor you can flavor see. Oh it's yeah. like shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I'm actually fine with spices. Okay. 
The habanero chilies were surprisingly not that hot. I reckon I could eat the whole thing. These are just tasty. I'm going to quote here. Go on. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> That's so vague. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. That's probably because it's also from the Anchor Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strikes what again. A, what an odd movie. <laughs> Alright, Dylan. I want you to try one of these. Oh, the what a chestnuts. What a chestnuts. What a chestnuts. In some sort sure. of water. I've never what had one of these, I don't think. So it could be interesting. It could be interesting. They might not even taste that bad. They don't smell good. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling? They're not bad. They're not good. They're not good. Is it like a regular chestnut? I don't know what. <laughs> they <laughs> they <taste> like. <laughs> um, it's very watery. <laughs> that would make sense. Kind of tastes like a really bad pear. Right, quote time. What have you got for me? It's like I have ESPN or something. I wouldn't get that one. <laughs> Another one that I feel like I've heard, but I don't know where from, considering there's been so many, let's say it's from the Anchorman again. No, it's wow. not. It was from Mean Girls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a movie I've definitely yeah. seen. <laughs> so, hmm, what have we not had yet? Don't do it. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get you to have a sardine. You're the worst. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's a well. Yeah, you gotta get I it. Don't want You're it. probably gonna have to juice all over your fingers. And it's gonna smell really bad. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's like all liquidy. And oh, oh <laughs> <laughs> gross. <laughs> Oh, it smells bad. <laughs> it smells so bad. Oh. Yeah. What's the rule on this one? Because these are disgusting. Yeah. Uh, pick just, one. Yeah. Pick one. Have a little, a nibble at least. Yeah, right. That's, that's generous. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, it's so oh. Big. Look, I'm just going to have a tiny bit. I think it's going to, those are full, so it's going to crunch too. Don't say that. <laughs> You're going to be eating spine and guts. Stop. And Stop. <laughs> I have to eat this. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, 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 that's so oh. gross. <laughs> oh, and they smell, the I'm honestly gonna they smell to terrible. They smell terrible. Oh, you know if you get this wrong, you're eating Yeah, so I know. That's I'm how it nervous. is. I'm nervous. There's a quote. What does mine say? Oh, dude, that's so vague. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the heck? What does mine say? Yep. That's the quote. <laughs> oh, man. So if I get this wrong, are you sure you don't want to see me have some of that apple cider vinegar stuff? That looks pretty gross. No, uh, I think the cider <laughs> ends is a pretty, pretty good way to think. Oh, I'll go get it. <laughs> movie, Dude, where's my car? <laughs> I haven't seen that. Oh, oh, this smells bad. <laughs> it's so rank. I don't want to do this at all. Oh, it's so okay. floppy in your hands. <laughs> Oh, I don't even want to look at it when I <laughs> eat it. That's so gross. <laughs> <That'd be fair. laughs> oh man. Oh, I was trying to do my best to swallow it. Oh, God, it's too much. That's rough. <laughs> oh, I was rough. Oh, dude, that was so gross. It's disgusting. Now you oh, know what you put right. me through. We're gonna do a spitfire round real quick, alright? Oh, okay. Spitfire round. 
Your buzzer is your name. Okay. Oh, what have you put on that chip, Peter? We have put on some red hot chili sauce. Oh no. Hopefully it'll drown out the sardine taste. Alright. That would be nice. Well the next the next round's gonna be the sardines as well, so. But it's gonna be like half a sardine, not just the head. Alright, so you don't need to wait for me to finish the quote. You just need to say your name as soon as you know the answer. Three, two, one. Ahana means family. And fa That's from Lilo and Stitch. Oh, beautiful. Here you go, oh, Dylan. What? Yeah. I haven't seen Lilo and Stitch forever. It's a class. Bit, bit, bit spicy. That, oh. <laughs> that sauce is a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to start sweating soon. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that, yeah. It's a kick. It's good. That's got some kick to it. <laughs> and we'll do one more final round. What do we want to do for our final round? <laughs> Mix the chili sauce with the uh, olive oil. The, or oh, this? Yeah. Put the, the, the vinegar. Or, like I have the vinegar and you like feel it as it goes and it's really, <laughs> and it's going to be hot as well. Oh, couple drops. No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh boy. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Why? That's for sure. No. Oh, oh. dude. No. Oh, that'll you know make things dirt in the bowl. It's come everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping the lemon actually. Oh, it's there. Everything's yeah, going it's in. Big combo. Damn. Okay, that's that'll do. <laughs> oh, um, Connor's been doing really well with these. <laughs> um, no, you can't swallow that. Yes, you can. <laughs> Just the seeds. <laughs> Just the seeds. <laughs> That's everything, pretty much. All right. That's absolutely feral. That's disgusting. Our chick flick movie will be... You keep using that word. I do not think you know... Uh, Dylan. Oh. The Princess Bride. Correct! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Just stir it around a little bit. No, ew. There we go. Oh, it's on my fingers. <laughs> there you go. That looks awesome. I'm so mad. <laughs> I got that it's so quick. Wow. It's got <gasps> levels. There's three different levels to it. So gross. And one of the whole levels is sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Just approach it. Do it. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> it's just so gross. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Straight, out. <laughs> Straight out. Oh. Yeah, that was grotty. I would have done the same. <laughs> oh, I didn't like that. <laughs> oh, but I'm glad oh, I didn't have to drink it. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, guys, to a TV quote <laughs> trivia punishment movies. thing game. I want to wash my mouth out. Yes, that's disgusting. We all will. That was gross. <laughs> Thanks again. All right. Bye. Thanks for that, guys. If you've been enjoying the games that we've been playing every week, leave a comment down below. If there's something you want to see the boys do, let us know. We'd love to film that for you. Um, and now we're going to head into a time of worship. So take a second, take a breath, grab a Bible, grab a pen, whatever you'd like to do. Um, and let's get into it. See you later.
Thank you guys for that awesome time of worship. Um, hope you guys got something good out of it and that it was a time, good time to just sit and relax and be with God. Um, now we're going to move on to hearing the word from Peter.
Hey Tribe Youth, it's Peter here. Just wanted to let you guys know that we love you and we miss you so much. We cannot wait to get back together and do youth. We, we're loving filming and making youth online. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, and we're gonna continue to do it until we can all come and meet back together. But I just wanted to let you know, just before we get into the sermon, that we do miss you guys, we do love you guys. And yeah, we hopefully will be able to see you soon. So to get us started with our sermon today, we're actually gonna be reading Joshua 1 verse 9. So I'm sure it'll pop up on the screen somewhere before you, but just in case it doesn't, I'm gonna read it to you now. So Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. That's enough right there, but it keeps going. He says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord God will be with you wherever you go. I just think that the Bible these days, every time I read the Bible, I just think, wow, God, you're amazing. You are crazy. What he is saying there is that in large crowds, when we're in school giving oral presentations, when we're in school, outside of school, doing music recitals, whether we're playing sport and we've got that final kick of the match to win the game. He is there, he's telling us to be strong and courageous. Those examples I just used, they're, they're, they're some things that fill us with heaps of insecurities, heaps of worries and he, heaps of struggles. Does anyone know what I'm, where I'm coming from? You see, when we read God's word, especially in Joshua 1 verse 9, he calls his people to be strong and courageous. Strong and courageous in times of need, not just when we're feeling confident and, and strong in ourselves, but be strong and courageous in Christ. You see, we shouldn't question who we are. Instead, we're actually called to stand firm in who we are in Christ. So that goes back again to what I was just saying before about being strong and courageous in ourselves and being strong and courageous in Christ, which is what this Bible verse is talking about. So maybe an example for you might be, maybe you're at school or school online and you're surrounded by a bunch of peers that actually challenge you and what you believe. Maybe you yourself, you're struggling with some health problems. Maybe there's family troubles at home and you actually feel really insecure, really, you actually dread some of those things. Whatever it is that fills you with anxiousness, whatever it is that fills us with anxiousness and causes us to feel alone and worried, I'm going to give you an example for myself, right? And some of you guys might have heard this before, but for me, public speaking was the biggest struggle that I had growing up. Year 11, I was in legal studies. Does anyone do legal studies? Give me a shout out. Bit of a bit of a like or something, I guess, hey? But no, it, like I was doing legal studies and I was not the greatest at legal studies. Heck, I wasn't the greatest at school. But I'm in year 11 and the teacher says, all right, in week six, we're gonna do a, an oral presentation. We're gonna do a speech. And I think to myself, easy, easy. Got my content, I actually did the work, which is a rarity for me. I did the work and I was ready. First week, I didn't have to do it because everyone else in the class had jumped on board. I was up the following week and I was ready and I was prepared and I jumped up in front of everyone. And then I realized it was my first time speaking in public, year 11. I got up in front of everyone and I stared across the classroom. There would have been 25 to 30 kids in the classroom and I froze. And I froze. And I started to see little black dots all around my eyes, everywhere I'm starting to see little black dots. And I wake up 15 minutes later and I'm out in the corridor. Apparently I'd passed out, I'd fainted. And what, what a crazy thought that is for me to go, hey, I speak in front of hundreds of kids every year. And I fainted then. So for me, the, 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 the crazy part for me is that later on in life, I publicly speak on a weekly basis. For me, I handle it completely different now than what I did then. If I'm struggling with something, I go to this Bible verse. What I want to do for you right now, we've just read Joshua 1 verse 9. I actually want to take it back one more Bible verse. Joshua 1 verse 8. So just before he says, be strong and courageous, he says, keep this book always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything within it. Then you will prosper and be successful. 
You see, as Christians, we find peace when we meditate on God's word. As believers, we actually want to do it daily, day and night. It says to, to meditate on it day and night. Meditate on what God has said he has done and what he's going to do. You see, regardless of your situation, root yourself in knowing that Jesus is at the center. You are resting in the source of true peace. So Tribe Youth, I want to finish off this sermon with a bit of encouragement for you. I'm going to finish it off with two questions and two Bible verses for you. My first question is this, which situation are you challenged with right now? In saying that, I mean, what are you being challenged with right now? Can you give it to God? Can you hand it over to Him? And my second question for you is, who are the people God has placed in your life to help you when you are facing these fears and challenges? Again, I'm going to read that. Who are the people God has placed in your life to help you when you're facing these fears and challenges? And Tribe Youth, my Bible verses are really amazing, really simple. You see, the Apostle Peter, he wrote in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, Cast your anxiousness on him because he cares for you. That's Peter saying, cast your anxiousness, cast your worries to Jesus. Cast it to Jesus because he cares for you. That's where we get our strength from. That's where we get our courage from. And the second one comes from the Apostle Paul in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews verse 4.16 says, Let us approach God's place of grace and confidence so we may get mercy and find grace to help us in times of need. Was that really big? Let me say that again for you. Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us approach God's place of grace and confidence. So let us come to God in his place of grace and confidence so that we believers may get mercy and grace to help us in our times of need. Is that not insane? So Tributh, I encourage you, if you are being challenged right now, turn to God. Turn your eyes to Jesus. We're in an amazing environment right now where we can actually turn what we're going through from a negative into a positive. We can actually dedicate our days and nights to, to God, reading our scriptures, listening to worship, praying. If we are struggling to be strong and courageous, we just need to read what this Bible verse says again. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged because God is with you wherever you go. So Tributh, let me pray for you. Close your eyes, if you will. God, you are the beginning and the end. We call you the Alpha and the Omega. God, we, we look to you in times of need, in times of struggle, in times of challenge right now, God. And we put you first. I pray for anyone that's on the other side of that camera right now, God, that... that is going through what we're talking about and what we're sharing. God, I pray right now that you can speak to them and reveal yourself to them. We lift you high, God, and yeah, we pray for awesome miracles and breakthroughs from what you've done. Amen. Amen. So Tribe Youth, we, 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 again, we love you and we're so thankful that you're here with us. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thanks, Peter, for bringing the word. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's it from us this week. Uh, make sure you keep an eye on our social media, Instagram and Facebook. Um, we'll be doing fun little things throughout the week so that you have something to fill your free time with. Um, yeah, we'll see you next week. See you next Bye. Time.